Yo, what's up guys, Shig here today. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to beat your PC's performance and get better FPS and stuff by clearing out all your Windows cache and whatnot. These are basically just junk files that slow down your PC and make you get worse performance. All I ask is that you guys do leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new because these tips will help you get better performance. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so the first files you want to clean out are your temporary files, which are just files that you don't need on your computer so all you want to do is press your windows key and r and you'll open up this run box then you want to type in percentage sign temp percentage just like that and then press ok it's gonna bring up this this like all this stuff so all you want to do is just go through and then press delete on it do this for all current items and then skip okay then you want to press ctrl r again type in temp without the percentage signs press ok and then boom there's some more cache files for you to clear out. Okay, now what I want you guys to do is type in the same thing. Open the run box and type in pre-fetch just like that. Press OK. If a pop-up comes up, just press continue. Select everything. You can also do this by pressing Control A and then hit delete on your keyboard. And do this for all current items and skip. Okay, so now we have cleaned out a very, very good amount of cache files on your PC. So now what I recommend you guys to do is type in disk cleanup and then select your Windows C drive and then make sure you check all these boxes if you want to get rid of pretty much all of your cache. And then click up cleanup system files. Again, make sure C is selected and it's going to go ahead and do that for you. And it'll just run that. And then as you can see, I can clear up 53.6 megabytes. You guys will probably have a lot more because I usually do this like once or twice a week because it really does speed up the PC. Press OK and then press delete. And wait for this to finish. Now after this is done, there are a few more caching files that you can clear out. Okay, so now what you guys wanna do is clear your networking cache. So just type in CMD and make sure you run it as an administrator, click yes, then type in IP config just like that slash flush flush DNS okay and then it's gonna get rid of all of your your internet files that you don't need and it will help you get better and better paying in games okay so the next thing that you guys want to do is okay so now what I want you guys to do is go to your file explorer and go to this PC and just open up windows c now i want you guys to make sure that that you guys go to a view tab and then click on hidden items so you can see these folders that are kind of translucent and have less opacity than the rest now what i want you guys to do is go to program data okay so all you want to do is click on nvidia corporation and you're going to have all of these options right here you want to go to nv underscore cache and everything in here you want to delete it i'm not going to as i just did this the other day and these are the files in which um the game's cache is stored but if you've had your pc for a while and you're struggling with fps i definitely recommend you flush this out and then your games are gonna run like absolute trash probably the first two to five minutes you play it because there's no caching files left for it to go how to optimize your graphics card but it's going to build new caching files for it and you're going to get even better fps after it but just trust me guys the first like two to five minutes you're going to lag a little bit because your pc is trying to build the caching files and how to optimize your graphics card better for the game but trust me you should you guys should do this at least once every like four months or so just if there's any games you don't play anymore you know you can delete it and then build new caching files for those games Okay guys, so now that you have flushed out a great majority of it, you want to make sure that all the right programs are starting up when you start your PC. So just type in startup apps and enable everything that you absolutely need to start up whenever you restart your PC. So for me, I use Wallpaper Engine for this amazing wallpaper right there, so I want that to start up. I want IQ for my keyboard to start up and this Windows application because it makes my computer run but everything else like i don't want my epic games launcher or cortana or adobe processes or anything like that or steam to boot up whenever i first turn on my pc because that's just going to be running in the background and using up resources so you want to make sure that you have all of the programs that you don't need to start up when you turn on your pc disabled through here 
Okay, so now a bit of cash that you're going to want to clear out is in your Microsoft Store. So all you want to do is run command prompt as an administrator. And you want to just type in WS reset dot exe. Press on OK. Now this is going to load up and it's really you're not going to see anything for a couple like seconds or minutes just depending on your PC, but it's going to reset all of your Windows Store cache. So that way you don't have any excess dumps on your PC. So now that your Microsoft Store is opening up, you can go ahead and X out and you're done with that. Okay, so the last thing that I recommend you to do will save you a really, really good amount of space. So just type in on, on your Windows search, type in restore and then create a restore point and go and click on configure. Make sure your C drive is selected and press configure. Over here, it shows the amount of usage that you have. This can be up to probably around 20 gigabytes. I've had it for here. So all you want to do is delete all of the restore points to press delete. I'm not going to do it because again, I only have around three gigs or so. And so you want to press delete and then you want to go back in and press configure and create a new one. So you want to turn on system protection to automatically create restore points, set this to about 5% and then you want to manually go ahead and create a new one and just call it restore. So that's how you do that because you are going to need a restore point on your PC in case something happens. Okay guys, so now you have successfully removed all of the cache and just junk files on your PC that you don't need. All I ask you guys to do again is drop a like on the video, subscribe and share it around with your friends if you want to help them get better PC performance and FPS. My name's Shig, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.